the students of Islamic International School. Welcome all of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Little wonders at their best in Wiz Kids next on Peace TV. Islamic International School, Mumbai, managed by the IRF Educational Trust, imparts the best of education in an Islamic environment for your child. The school promotes an environment in which the students can learn, understand and practice their way of life, Islam, as they strive for excellence in subjects like mathematics, science, English, history, geography and others. Islam as a deen. Followers of Islam are called Muslimin. Alhamdulillah, I am proud to be a Muslim. And so are the young students of Standard 1 who will present an Arabic song about a child's desire to be an ideal Muslim and a Tiflun Muslim.
Hamdan Sayyad of Junior KG will now recite a dua on waking up. Now we have Muhammad Ismail Khan of Senior KG who will present the tilawat of Surah At-Takasur. Ayyuh al-Hablu al-Kareem. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ismi Ismail Khan. Ana firoz ilatqal il-uliya. A'udhu billahi minash shaytan al-rajim. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ألهاكم التكاثر حتى زرتم المقابر كلا سوف تعلمون of Sinar KG will now recite the dua before drinking milk. In the name of Allah, O oh Allah, bless it for us and give us more of it. Man, out of his excessive greed, holds wealth more than his need. He craves for the worldly beauty without fulfilling his spiritual duty. Let us watch what message the young students have to convey to us through the script Ozi of Azahra. Scene one. In the old city of Azahra, there lived a powerful king who had a beautiful palace. Just beside the palace, there was a small piece of land that belonged to an old man, a blacksmith. King Hakim was out on a stool admiring the beauty of his palace. My palace! How wonderful it 
looks. How peaceful and quiet. Oh no, what's that awful noise? Hey, you, what are you doing? This dirty noise is disturbing me and your ugly heart bring down the beauty of my palace. A hundred pardon, sir. I am a blacksmith. This is my work. If I don't do this work, how will I earn money for my family? With all I'll risk. As far as my heart is concerned, I thank Allah for giving me a shelter, a roof over our heads. Wait a man. Why don't you sell me this piece of land so that I can add it to the gardens of my palace? I will pay you well for it. You will not have to work day and night. You will be a rich man. No, never. I am happy with what Allah has given me. Don't be a foolish person. I will give you double the value. My heart is like a palace to me. And it's more precious to me than your pots of gold. You, you dare to disobey my orders? You shall pay for this old man. From today, this land belongs to me. And I shall have your heart broken down. Mercy, have mercy on me, O King Hakim. Don't take my land away. How will I feed my family? And where will I stay? God, throw this man out and see to it that he never comes back. Ha, ha, ha. This is the result of not obeying my orders. I am the king, very strong and powerful. I can do anything. Allah, 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 Allah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Firdaus Yusuf Chambers. What life actually means. What I was doing in this world. Come from a Buddhist family. I've gone through Buddhism. I also went through Hinduism. I went through socialism. None of them gave me the answer. None of them gave me the answer. The debate between Sheikh Ahmad Dad and Jimmy Swaggart. Two years down the road becoming a Muslim. That is my turning point of my life. I believe that uh, the Quran can answer my problems. I go by myself to embrace Islam. Now that I'm a Muslim, I ask him for a new way of life and Alhamdulillah, that's why I came to Islam. My choice from ignorance to Islam. Muhammad, peace Pearls of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated that the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Avoid envy, for envy devours good deeds just as fire devours fuel or grass. Sunan Abu Daud, Volume 3, Book of Manners, Chapter 1759, Hadith Number 485. What is your duty to yourself is written in the Quran. What is your duty towards your parent is duty is written in the Quran. What is your responsibility between you and the Prophet is in the Quran. What is the response between you and fellow mankind is in the Quran. Everything is written in the Quran. Hussein it is a sin for all Muslims who do not share the Quran with your friends who are not yet Muslim. The Prophet wasallam said, Each person's every joint must perform a charity. Purity is half of faith. Every day of our lives, Every part of our body is owed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in worship. Every step you take towards the place of prayer is charity. Gratitude for our creation, gratitude for our health, gratitude for everything which we receive from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our daily requirement as Muslims. Prophetic Hadith Forcefully 
taken away. And I don't have any place to live in now. What? Your land has been forcefully taken away? Who took it? It's, it's the king, Gali. It's King Hakim. What? The king? How is that possible? I'm sure you're mistaken. No, Gali. It's the king who took away my land to add it to his garden. I want justice, Gali. I want justice. Brother, could you wait for some days? I have to think some idea to get back your land. Just in Allah, things will be fine. Yes, Your Honor. Jazakallah khairan. Inshallah, you will get justice. The Qadi was too scared to confront the king to court. But he was aware that if he would not put things right, he would have to answer Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment. Scene 3. The king's royal garden is ready. The king invites Qadi to see his palace and garden. Marhaba! Marhaba, Kazi! Welcome to my palace. Isn't it beautiful? Indeed, sir. It's wonderful. Oh, what is this? Why do you bring a donkey here? With your permission, sir, may I fill some of my sacks with your garden soil? Fill your sacks with the garden soil? Okay, you may.
Pedro. The sustainer in Allah's creation are sign for those who reflect. Let's hear a thought-provoking song from the students of Standard One. Allah Khalid. of Senior KG will now narrate a hadith on mercy. Ayyuh al-haflul kareem, assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Ismi Fahad Ansari, ana fi rawzat al-atfal al-uliyah. Aqra'u amamukum hadithan ma'at tarjama. 
عن جرير بن عبد الله رضي الله عنه قال قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم لا يرحم الله من لا يرحم الناس رواه البخاري جرير بن عبد الله رضي الله عنه narrated that the messenger of Allah صلى الله عليه وسلم said Allah will not be merciful to those who are not merciful to mankind. Sahih Bukhari, Volume 9, Hadith Number 7376.